Okay, in this video I'm gonna demonstrate for you how to find the correlation coefficient from a set of data. Well, the first thing you're gonna need is to put data into a spreadsheet. So if you go to the home button up here and then click on this um, icon for what looks like a spreadsheet, there's some things that you need to know first before you create and put numbers into a spreadsheet. And the first thing is, is you always need to title your columns, whether that's X or Y, or whether it's based on a story problem. You want to put a title for each of your columns. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at data from, uh, from your textbook, looking at this example. It's on page 99 from lesson 2-3 of your textbook. Or what you can do is you can pause the video and you can create a video or create a table using this data. We're going to use in the first column, we're going to put uh, the lead. In the first column, in the second column, we're going to put the zinc. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using and answering part A. And we're also going to be determining if this question doesn't ask for the correlation coefficient, but we're going to use uh, this information to find what the correlation coefficient would be. So go ahead and enter in this data. So pause the video and hit play when you're ready to move on. Okay, so uh, you should have your data in a spreadsheet now. So I've already done that here. So you should have a total of 10 numbers in each column. And I went ahead and called this first column lead, the second column zinc. Also something else, don't ever type in anything in this gray uh, cells. That just fills in whatever you type in in the gray cell, fills everything into the column. Okay, well the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a graph for this data. So we're going to go to the, again, the home button. And we're not going to go to this graph that looks like a graph. We're actually going to go to the one that looks like a histogram here. Now what happens is your calculator just takes and throws the data on the screen and just spits it out there. Okay, so your screen right now on your calculator will probably look different from my screen. Because this is not a scatter plot. This is just taking those data points, just going and throwing them on the screen. So what we need to do is we need to organize this. So the best way to do that, I mean, you could drag your cursor down to the bottom and do it this way, but I think it's just faster just to click on tab. Oops. And what it'll do is it'll go down here to the bottom and it'll say, well, what do you want on your x-axis? Well, this is where we're going to put, um, I believe, lead on the x-axis. Let me just double check here. Yeah, we're going to put lead on the x and we're going to use zinc as your y. So I'm going to put lead down here. So then I'm going to hit the tab button again and it goes to the y axis and this is where we're going to put the zinc. So now we have created a scatter plot. Well, we want a line of best fit or regression line uh, for this data. So if we go to menu, analyze, regression. Now there's all these different types of regression equations. Well, we want a re linear regression. There's two different ones. We want the form mx plus b. And there you have it. Now your calculator might have it in um, rounded closer to the decimal point. So again, we could just round this to be 28.7x plus 19 and a half would be our regression line. Now let's say, now that answers part A to that particular uh, assignment. But let's say if we were wanting to find out what's the correlation coefficient for this data. Well, the way that you do that is if you go to the home button, go to a calculator screen and once you get to the calculator screen go to menu go to statistics and under stat calculations go to linear regression okay so menu let me clear out of this again so it's menu then under menu go to statistics go to stat calculations whoops I clicked the wrong thing um, Here we go, and go to linear regression. So this screen is going to pop up. Notice it should say linear regression up here. If it says something else, it means you accidentally selected the wrong thing. But under X list, if you hit the right arrow, it'll give us this list of different um, options. We're going to use our X list as the lead. Then we're going to arrow down or tab down and hit the right arrow. Again, this time we're going to arrow down and select, whoops. We're going to arrow down and select zinc. You don't have to do anything else. We can leave everything the same, so you can just hit enter. 
And for this data, then, we can see what our value for r is. Remember, that is your correlation coefficient. So the correlation for this correlation coefficient for this set of data is a positive 0.94. It's positive, so even without looking at the graph, I can see that the graph would be increasing from left to right. So as the lead value increased, the zinc value also increased in the fish. And there's a pretty strong correlation, so that means there's a pretty strong relationship there between uh, the relationship between the lead and zinc that are in the fish. So that is how we find the correlation coefficient. You do not, here's a little note, you don't have to graph the data to get to the correlation coefficient. I could have just put in the data, if all I was asking for was just the data, I could have just, or just the correlation coefficient, I just enter in the data, go to a calculator screen, then go to menu, statistics, oops, statistics, do stat calculations, linear regression, and it would have given us this in, uh, information. So. Uh, that's how you do it. So hopefully now you can better understand how to find the correlation coefficient to be able to do the rest of your assignment.